Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about how to install Apache Solar on your local machine for your practice. So as part of this tutorial, we'll see how to install machine on your operating system. The process is same irrespective of what operating system you are using. And then we'll create a demo core and we'll set up a demo data which comes out of the box with your installation for your practice. So to download solar for your local machine, go to the solar.apache.org, go to downloads and there's a number of ways how you can install that. So we'll use this binary release because this is the same for all the operating system. So just download this. Once you have download, just unzip this folder. This is a zip file. You can unzip this as per any utility as per your machine. So what do I do? I'll unzip this. I'm on Mac, so I'll use this utility. Once you are unzip that, now you will find a folder structure here. You do not need any additional software to run Solar. The only prerequisite is Java. So uh, currently I'm running Java 11, so you can use as per your machine, whatever the Java you have. So once you have this folder structure, you just need to start this. So go to this open terminal or command prompt as per your machine. So all the utilities to start and stop this server are there in bin so what you have to do you have to go to bin and then use start and stop command so what i'll do i am on server i am here so what i'll do go bin slash solar and then start so it will start your solar on port 8983. First time it may take some time, but it will quickly start. If you see this is started pretty quickly, now you have to go, go to your browser and hit localhost 8983. Localhost and 8983. You will see this solar has been started now but once you see here let's understand this ui at a high level so this is the dashboard where you can see these properties high level properties what is being used by this machine by this solar instance logging if you have any logs you can see here and the other things so important part is core so you will see there's a no core available if you click here no core is available so first you have to create core what is core actually where you contain all your data you can have different core for different website ideally same instance is or same server is used for multiple websites so first you have to create core and then we'll put the demo data which comes out of the box with this installation so what you have to do just first so first remove everything after solar and hit that now click on this no core available so it will give you a option to create core so few things are pre-populated so these we have to update only first two rest of the three field will be as it is we'll see this in detail when we'll create our own core so let me give a name tech products so i have added a name called tech product this is the same name used for tutorials given by apache itself now this directory we'll see we'll add the directory where this data is so what we'll do we'll not create our own directory but we'll use the existing directory one so what we have to go just go to the folder structure where we have here in this now go to the server and go to server solar and config set here you will see a sample tech products config so you have to go to this folder till here just so what you'll do just copy path till this folder so what i'll do uh, you can use any uh, utility to copy this path if you are on windows you can straight away copy from this bar so what i'll do i'll use here i come here because i'm on mac so what i'll do pwd so it will give me the path till here so i'll use this path and this is absolute path not relative so use this path and add core so as soon as you add this you will find a drop down here now my core is available but if i click on here i won't see any document if you see no document available here number of docs zero so now you have to copy the data which comes with this default installation to your core so that you can make queries and you can see the data 
So to copy data to this core, we already have a utility available with this default installation. So you have to go again to the, this folder structure, come back and see, go to parent folder, solar, and then this example, and then this example docs. So you will see a jar available called post.jar. Now we'll use this jar to copy sample data to our newly created core. So now you have to run a particular command inside this, inside this or where you have path of this. So what I'll do, come here straight away and open a either terminal or command prompt as per your machine and open here. Now, now I'm inside this, now this jar is available to me. So now what I'll do, I'll copy the sample data to my core. So what I'll do, Java hyphen jar please make sure you are in this example docs folder now okay java hyphen jar this is a command to execute any java now hyphen dc equal to whatever the name of the core we created so the name was tech products right it's the same name tech products right our name is correct now my name of my jar so name of my jar was post post dot jar and what i'm saying copy all data copy all data to this core so what i'll do asterisk dot xml now i hit this command my data should copy it so let's copy you see the, the you will see some logs here so this has been committed right this has been committed now it's done i don't see any error here so when i refresh this i should see some data available inside this core because we copied sample data to this core let me refresh this and you see that this document 32 documents are available now so we copy out of the box available data to our core now we can use this core to make queries okay so how you will see this data we'll talk about this in detail in coming tutorials but for now let's understand this select this once you have more than one core you will find all the core here we'll see in next tutorial how to create a specific code okay now select this and in this query if you click on this you will see a console here console or kind of boxes where you can search you can change the criteria of your search so right now I'm not doing anything I'm saying whatever if you see this queue I'll talk about these in detail in a separate tutorial, but for now, what I'm saying, Q asterisk colon asterisk, I'm saying everything. So if I click now, execute query, you will see these, the data is available here, right? But I have 32 uh, records, but you see less. Reason being is by default, it give you a specific number of docs. It give you 10 by specific 10. So as per means this is for pagination when you implement using any language so this use for pagination for for now let's understand this okay so now data is available here you can now you can add your criteria add your search based on your search it will give you a result we'll talk about this in detail in coming tutorials so that was the simplest way of installation and set up a demo data for your learning i hope you understood if you have any question Add your comment. Thank you.